Good evening, trans family. My name is Kate Trans. Welcome in Pasha Poznań and please welcome legend himself, Ferry Corsten. Good evening. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very, very well. Tonight is the night open to close. What the F? Is this project your dream come true? Ah, is it my dream come true? It's definitely sort of like an accumulation of like years of making music that all comes out in one night. So what can we expect from you tonight? Tell me everything what we should know about this project. Yeah, I mean, tonight in, in uh, here in Pasha, it's slightly different than, than what it normally is. Normally it's like I start the first track and then the doors open. Mm -hmm. But over here right now, they, um, they have someone like playing a little intro set and then, you know, um, when the doors open and then, then I start playing. But it's basically I do the whole night and I just play only my own music. So from, you know, the, all the big stuff from back in the day to all the new stuff today and everything in between. Yeah, I really can't wait. The title of your tour is What the F? I'll be honest with you. For me, it's like between flirt and provocation, isn't it? It is. It is. And that's, uh, yeah, pretty much how I live. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on December 4th, you're gonna celebrate your 50th. Don't say it. But anyway, let's go. I have to. Yes. All but right. you're hot. You're still got it. How do you keep yourself in a good condition? It's all about the mindset. I really like to think so. You know, um, do I live a particularly healthy life? Not really. I mean, in the weekends, you know, I like a drink, as many of you know. Pun intended, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I don't. I really don't drink. I don't really live healthy when I'm back home uh, during the week. Uh, I, I do a bit of workout. I, I live a, like a, a nice and easy, calm, sort of focused lifestyle. Um, but I think it's the industry that that I'm in. Um, it's it's also the perception of life and how how things come to you that you know keeps your mind young and 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 uh yeah i think it, it really translates into how you physically are you know when you have a young mindset i guess so uh, that's that's what i try to tell myself like that's how it works right no i totally agree because when we, we've got very specific job mm -hmm. and you you know most of time we we work with younger people than That's us true. so yeah. we, we feel younger and uh, you know music is you know makes you feel so alive uh, and younger very true very true yes what is the one decision that you don't regret in your almost 50 years life that i actually said at some point and and you know luckily i have parents that agree with me that so many years ago I said, you know, to my to my parents, like, look guys, I, I really believe in this, that I can do this, and I really want to go for it. So instead of, you know, starting a job for, you know, based on the study that I did, uh, you know, and do, and do the sort of real, like the normal path, if, if you will, said like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna give this a, a tr uh, gonna give this a, a go and, and try this and go for music and because I know that that's where my heart is and so yeah and I did that and my parents were like go for it you know give I gave myself a year if, it, if I wouldn't be at a certain level after that year I would I told myself I, I'd go find a job do the whole thing and um, uh, within half a year I was way beyond that so I was like okay this this has been a good choice and I've never looked back so that's the thing I've never regretted what was the most challengeable thing that you have ever done? Hmm. <laughs> Good one. Most challengeable thing. Mm -hmm. Getting kids. <laughs> you get kids. I love my kids, honestly, but it's an effing challenge. Yes. <laughs> I agree. I've got one, but okay. that's, that's true. Um, a year ago, I asked you about collab with Armin and Ruben. Right. And um, when you announced it, I was in shock anyway. And how many times did you team up with the guys before you came into the studio and discuss about idea about collaboration for of you? 
it was you're talking about the the, the last collaboration the, with Benno yeah. also, right? Yeah. Yeah. About the anthem of the, of the stage. Honestly, France. that that was Armin just texted uh, texted me. He's like, hey, I would love you to be involved and Ruben and Benno in this uh, this anthem we're doing. Uh, I really would like to do this. You know, the the, the four of us. Legends. This was like a few weeks before we set the date. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but until the day before we, or like, okay, we went into the studio, I believe Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it was the Thursday before where we all got together and we were just like nerding out a bit in the studio in Armin's house and uh, talking about music and finding some sort of like common mindset of where this track should go, but we didn't create anything yet that day we were just sitting there playing keyboards and like just goofing around and then guys see you next week and then so monday when when this thing went live you know as you could have seen that was also the day we all got together it's like okay what are we gonna, really gonna do the only thing is like we wanted to make like an old school trance track that's all we knew did you feel any pressure no and i think it's um, of course there's always like a little bit of like okay we we need to have something in three days right <laughs> and uh, everybody expected yes but you need to switch that off you know the 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 pressure of like oh we gotta we gotta perform it I think to be very honest I think everyone who who was watching was more enjoying the fact that we were sitting there together goofing around trying to find our de fight our demons you know, you know like you know all the the little problems that you encounter when you produce a track uh, which is mostly decision making you know which direction are we doing what sound are we using which melody is the best right those things and and us just stumbling and and you know i think people love that way more than the actual outcome of the track you know. that's that's actually true yeah. something what impressed me so much when it comes to you it was the fact that you were so involved into the production of the end um, are you a perfectionist yeah sometimes too much yeah sometimes <laughs> too much sometimes I, it, I i know you know it's like you know you know we have a devil and an angel on your shoulder right yeah yeah sometimes the, yeah sometimes <laughs> the devil says like ah yeah you know just uh just say, uh, you know, let's go and it's good enough, you know? And then the angel says like, yeah, no, no, but you know, if you go a little, you tweak it a bit further, it gets better, right? So, and it's, it's a constant battle between that. So I'm a perfectionist, but yeah, to the point where, um, where I really have to stop myself, like say, okay, it's good enough is good enough, you know? Yeah. Together with Jesse, you host Resonation Show. Uh, he is also your best friend. Compare your duo with Jesse to some famous duo from movie or cartoon. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's Tom and who's Jerry, but yeah. Why? <laughs> you know, uh, it's um, nah. I, I, I don't. I don't think it's Tom and Jerry because they're, they're always fighting. I'm not fighting with Jesse. But uh, you know, the, the cool thing is that Jesse is uh, it's pretty much half my age. So, um, yeah, since we're to on the topic of me being 50 this year, fucking hell, uh, sorry. Uh, but, you know, it, it, therefore it's, it's really cool because uh, I see things a certain way and he sees it, you know, in a very different way, which, uh, which yeah, makes it work sometimes. Yeah. When did you last time say, what the fuck? Ah, it's a good one. <laughs> Ever since announcing this show, I've been in a, in a way I've been saying it. You know, if I'm playing "What the F" tonight, so it's, that's like the polite version of saying "What the fuck." But it's basically well, actually this night is not called "What the fuck," it's called "What the fairy." Yeah, that's yeah. So, but when I the last time I said "What the fuck," no, well, when I did that, maybe during dinner when the steak was really good. It's like "What the fuck? This is really good." <laughs> <laughs> Our hot waitress is like, what the fuck, <laughs> dude, yeah, what the fuck, she's hot. That's probably what I said, yeah. <laughs> what was the most beautiful compliment that you have ever heard about yourself? 
About myself, wow, okay. Uh, I, I guess that when someone's talking to me, they always feel like, um, they always talk to like a very upbeat person, very uh, positive thinking. That's, uh, yeah, that's nice to hear that. At the beginning interview, I mentioned it about your 50th birthday. We won't see each other probably in December, so I'll be the first <laughs> who's gonna take it to us. <laughs> but, and I wrote a small lyric for you. Okay. Happy birthday, fairy. You are iconic and legendary. We all love you so much because everything that's the best is Dutch. Nice. Happy birthday. Sweet, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for the interview. You too.